The Portsmouth Naval Shipyard, one of Southern Maine and New Hampshire's most important employers, is getting a massive investment from the government. They're spending more than a billion dollars to upgrade the primary facility for overhauling submarines. And that brought the man in charge of the U.S. Navy to Maine to celebrate. New Center Maine's Don Carrigan reports. The Navy, meaning the U.S. government, owns the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. So, starting a more than billion dollar dry dock project brought the man in charge of the Navy to Kittery. As the largest Milcon project in history, this is a significant investment by the American people. The dry dock expansion project will let the Kittery shipyard handle much larger submarines and overhaul two subs at a time. Senators from Maine and New Hampshire say they've already secured more than $600 million for the project and it will go well over a billion dollars before it's done. This dry dock project is an enormous undertaking for the shipyard and the Navy. And after years of local worry the government might close the yard, Senator Collins told reporters the future of Portsmouth Naval Shipyard is secure. I cannot imagine that anyone, any future BRAC, anyone would propose to uh, shut down the shipyard once this investment is made. The day-long main visit also included Bath Iron Works with a stop here at the shipyard's training facility and the senators say they're encouraged because the new Navy secretary already knows what BIW builds. While he was in the Navy, Secretary Del Toro commanded a DDG-51 destroyer, the primary kind of ships built at Bath. The yard is finishing the last of its futuristic DDG-1000 ships and will focus solely on the more traditional models. Senator King says having a Navy leader who knows those ships matters. He knows these ships and he knows how important they are uh, to the Navy and so I think that's uh, significant. And the secretary also agreed the Navy is needed to counter threats from other countries. Russia shows increasing aggression in the Arctic, the Mediterranean, and right up to our very Atlantic shores. China, it's our pacing threat, expanding its reach, threatening shipping lanes, and undermining international law every single day. Meaning, they say, what is built on this coast will be needed. In Brunswick, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. And the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard project is going to have an impact on central Maine as well. Senator King says the Chinbro Construction Company plans to build some of the components for the new dry dock in Brewer and then haul them by barge to Kittery.